Peace again, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. So, in this episode, we are going to be looking at finishing our uh, Mini Art 135th Auto Gyro. I'm not going to say its name like I did last time. Too embarrassing. Uh, so, in this video, we are going to be looking at uh, finishing the model. So, obviously, painting it, uh, doing a wee bit of weathering uh, on there as well. So, as is always, this is the last uh, video in the series or two episodes um, um so stick around right to the end and i'll show you the finished model so without further ado grab a copper and a bicky and uh, just chill out and watch this video so we start off with uh, panel lining just to try and generate a little bit more uh, kind of interest in uh, the finished uh, paint job so sort of emphasizing all uh, the ribbing and uh, the panels that are on the aircraft. I do the same for the rotary blades by using um, some fish filter foam, uh, thinned out slightly, uh, just to let the paint go through um, the holes in the filter. Later on, I'll go over this with a light misting of black. The camouflage um, I've based off um, an actual uh, airframe, uh, an RF uh, version. I've kind of had to go off one side and then kind of make up the other side because uh, I couldn't find any decent photos of uh, the camouflage scheme um, so it, it I think it's kind of right um, it's definitely right on the one side but it might be uh, slightly off on the other The engine got a dry brushing of uh, silver, as the, generally these engines were kind of like silver painted, but I didn't want to go full flat, you know, plaster it on with silver. So I gave it a dry brush, uh, again, just to sort of add a little bit of, you know, kind of interest and, you know, not just a flat, you know, solid silver color. After that dried, I gave it a wash using AK's uh, engine wash again just adds a little bit more interest a little bit of you know grime and age uh, to the engine for the exhaust ring i used pigments uh, a mix of dark rust smoke and to finish it off uh, a little bit of orca rust and then once all that was done i could fix this uh, to the engine And now for the colour um, insignia for on the tail. Now, I don't have any uh, decals that will fit um, the any part of the tail section. So I had to make them uh, myself. It's very easily done. Um, marking it all out, um, or the outline of it, with thin strips of uh, masking tape. Fortunately, the way the markings are put, it was quite easy um, to mask all this out. And says just just ma ma marking it out with thin um, bits of uh, masking tape, and then for the areas that we don't want, obviously we block mask those out. Then after the first uh, colour, which is white, it's always easiest to start with the lightest colour and working your way up to the darker ones. I masked out the centre part of the um, tail colours, uh, again with thin um, bits of masking tape. This was kind of a little bit of uh, guesswork um, as to, to, to how the um, sizes should be. But as you can see, you finished up with the red, uh, white and blue and looking quite sharp. Then after that we move on to um, some scratch work. Of course there's not a lot of uh, metal work on the aircraft, it's mainly on the nose. And I start off with a lighter colour um, of the sort of RAF dark green um, that's used there. Um, lighten it with a little bit of yellow and do some sort of um, superficial 
uh, scratching on the metalwork. Then after that, working away into um, you know a deeper scratch. So I've used a silver, kind of going over exactly the same areas I had uh, before, emphasising around all the panels and a few of those other light scratches. I also chipped up the propeller blades uh, using the sponge uh, chipping technique again just to add a little bit more interest. So as you can see there the only decal I have used is the round hook as I said before I had no other um, decal markings uh, for this um, and I had a spare set of roundels uh, to use for the airframe. And we're finally starting to finish up now and going over everything with a um, sort of like a panel liner. I'm using, uh, actually it is a panel liner because I'm using Tamiya's um, dark brown uh, panel liner. Going across all the engine panels and um, around the cockpit door and some of the other details like the uh, stitching um, between some of the metal and fabric parts. Again, this is just to kind of add a little bit more interest, a little bit more depth uh, to the model. And again, giving it a little bit more of a, an aged look. Uh, once this has kind of gone sort of touch dry, come back in with a little bit of white spirit on a brush just to clean it, um, clean away, uh, you know, any over excess uh, paint um, that I don't want. I did do a few oil stains. Uh, there wasn't really much uh, to go on. Um, I did a little bit around the gearing head um, and around the fuel cap there. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you know, the last added bit obviously is the engine and the prepared pepper, 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 the blades uh, to finish off the uh, bottle. So there we go my friends that's the auto gyro all done and dusted i do hope you have enjoyed the series uh, if you're new around here and have also enjoyed it uh, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel um, you can also follow us on facebook and instagram as well so it says that's it for now um again hope you've enjoyed uh, and as always i'll uh, i'll catch you in the next one